Could you ever imagine a family of 11 choosing to end their lives together in a chilling pact of death? An unthinkable scenario unfolded in the quiet neighborhood of Burari, Delhi in the summer of 2018. This is the haunting tale of the Burari case, where an entire family was found dead under mysterious circumstances, leading to one of the most baffling investigations in Indian crime history. In the early hours of July 1, 2018, 10 members of the Chundawat family were found hanging from an iron grill of a ceiling, while the family matriarch Narayani Devi lay strangled in another room. The initial shock gave way to eerie intrigue as the investigations progressed. The house was not ransacked, there were no signs of forced entry, and no suspicious characters were seen in the vicinity. It seemed like a case of mass suicide, but why? What could drive an entire family to such a grim end? The answer, as it turned out, lay in a set of 11 diaries maintained over a period of 11 years by the family. The diaries contained detailed instructions for a road to God, a bizarre ritual that the family believed would bring them salvation. But as the pages turned, a more complex picture began to emerge. The diaries also revealed a family grappling with mental health issues, familial stress, and physical ailments, painting a distressing portrait of collective despair. Despite the mounting evidence, the case was far from closed. The police faced a daunting task of piecing together the final moments of the Chundawat family. The handwriting in the diaries matched that of Lalit, the younger son, who was mute. He had started speaking mysteriously a few years ago, claiming to be possessed by his late father's spirit. Lalit's influence over the family and their blind faith in his divine communications became a focal point in the investigation. However, the post-mortem reports presented another twist. The report suggested homicidal strangulation for the matriarch, raising questions about the mass suicide theory. Could it be a case of murder-suicide, or was there an outside hand involved? The case kept swinging between theories, each more perplexing than the last. The Burari case, in essence, is a chilling reminder of the vulnerability of the human mind and the dangerous allure of blind faith. It underscores the importance of mental health awareness and the urgent need to debunk superstitions. While the case officially remains unsolved, the haunting memory of the ill-fated Chundawat family serves as a stark warning against the perils of unchecked psychological distress and misplaced beliefs. To summarize, the Burari case began as a shocking incident of mass suicide, but evolved into a complex investigation involving diaries, rituals, and mental health issues. It highlighted the power of familial bonds, the devastating impact of psychological distress, and the destructive potential of blind faith. Today, it stands as one of the most perplexing and tragic cases in Indian crime history, a grim testament to the dark corners of the human psyche.